Hello and welcome. Race C this week is Dragon Trail Seaside, one of my favorite tracks in the game. I could hardly let the week go without doing a video here, so let's talk Death Chicane. This is the reverse layout, probably the easier of the two directions for this corner. Either way, it's still the last place you want to try and overtake, but is it as tough as it's made out to be? I'm sure we've all made a mess of it at times, and if you're struggling with it, here's how I manage. I hope you find a few of these pointers helpful. Entering the first part of the corner, the car is more stable in this direction, coming off the long straight. Just past the 100 board is the start of the curb, which is my brake marker. Not much braking though, letting the car roll into the first apex. As I near the first curb, you can see I just start to feather the throttle. This will maintain some speed, but mostly it makes me feel like it stabilizes the car a bit more compared to no throttle while going over the curb. As we continue and approach the second curb, I've begun adding in steering angle and added a bit more throttle input as well. My goal here is to roll into full throttle right as I reach that second apex. Also, as a car moves over the curb, watch my steering angle and how steady I keep it nearly all the way to the gantry. Only as I near the marshal post does the steering unwind meaningfully. For the second half of the chicane, Generally, you can take a lot of these two curbs in either direction, but avoid these yellow sausage curbs. I'm a bit inside where I like to be going over the third curb. It's these front corners right here that seem to unsettle the car the most, particularly in a race as your tires wear down. You can see how much the car rocks back and forth in slow motion, straightening the car briefly for the fourth curb. Same wobble as I cross the final apex. That is probably the most aggressive I would be over those last two curbs. I'll replay that at half speed, and then again at full speed. So, is this turn as bad as it's made out to be? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below. I suspect some of it is the track is not a real world track and maybe looked down upon by some. In any case, I hope this helped you improve your technique and in turn, helps you have more fun. Thanks for watching.